Welcome back to my channel. Hey guys, it's Cassandra Lee Morris. I'm a voice actor for anime, animation, video games, really anything that needs a voice. And this is my YouTube channel. Welcome. A while ago on my Instagram, I put out a call for an AMA. Ask me anything. And you guys responded with a bunch of really good questions. Side note, there's a cat behind me that's grooming himself. He's a bit camera shy. Today's video is a Q&A with questions from my Instagram. Before we get into it, if you are not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Stick around, subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday. All right, without further ado, here's some A's to some Q's. Komali Feathers asked, do I like Denver, Colorado? Yes. <laughs> a couple people asked, what I think of the Persona 5 Funko Pops and will I be getting one? I think they're freaking amazing and hell yes, I will be getting one. Probably just the Morgana because I am Morgana, but uh, hell yeah. As soon as that comes out, you can bet I'll be getting that. A broadcaster known as Jay wanted to know what my favorite food is and I was actually just discussing this with my friend Steven the other day. Oh my God, there's my other cat. Oh, they're gonna wrestle now, watch. They're grooming each other, it's so cute. Oh my God, I'm just gonna move over here so you guys can admire my cats <laughs> being amazing. They asked what my favorite food is and it's just pretty much anything Italian. That's my go-to. That's what I was raised on. I am Italian. It'll always be Italian food, but I do also really love sushi, good sushi. RG979 asked what I was like during high school. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I feel like my like description of myself and other people's description of myself as a high schooler would be very different. I think it was very loud in high school. I liked to try to wear things that were different than what everybody else was wearing. I just remember my school was like an Abercrombie and Fitch catalog or an American Eagle catalog. So I made it a point not to shop there. I had a pair of floral dots Doc Martens that I would wear pretty often. Actually, I still have them, hold on. So I wore these all the time because they were different and nobody else had them and I just thought they were awesome. I still think they're awesome. I painted my room purple and I had a leopard bedspread. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I kind of like marched to the beat of my own drum, but you know, I still like to hang out with my friends and go out and do high school things. I remember going to the movies a lot. I guess in that respect, it was pretty normal. Oh, and during high school, I I was a pretty good student. I tried my best. Getting into a good college was like really important to me, but I wasn't one of those psychos, study all the time, go to extra help, join every club, like run for class president type of people. I guess I was just like somewhere in the middle. Kite1965 asked if they should go to sleep, and they definitely should because look how glorious it is. Guys, guys, you should all go to sleep right now. Wait, not until the video's over. Gamebot2k asked Toradora or Kaon, and I am horrified. How, why would you ask me such a difficult question? Ah, I like them both for different reasons. Kaon, the music is amazing. I was just so psyched to be part of a musical anime, and it was so fun, and it reminded me of like being in high school again, and I wish I had been in a girl band in high school. I was like living out my girl band dreams. I actually really was, especially when they they had us tour around at cons and street fairs, cosplaying as our characters and singing the songs in Japanese and airplaying our instruments. That was a thing. Toradora, I love Taiga, but I think Kaon is more fun. But Toradora got so many couples to get together, so like that was cute. I think personally, Kaon, don't hate me. Lock1486 asked which anime I would recommend. I would recommend Twin Star Exorcists because it's bad. <laughs> It's about two star-crossed lover exorcists who, uh, I'm, not, I'm not even gonna give it away. But I play the lead, Benio, so that was like an amazing experience to do that for 50 episodes. And then Bryce Pappenbrook plays Rokuro, who is like my love interest, but we're only 15. Again, I won't give away too much. It's just a really fun show and the battles are awesome, and I love the theme, I love the colors, I love the music, just everything about it is so fun. Everybody should watch Twin Star Exorcists. Now, do it, after this video, and then do it. 
Stussy Hayaku asked, who do I voice in Fortnite? I'm the voice of Sarah Hotep in Fortnite. Hell yeah. Z4 Channel Gaming asked if I would like to vacation to Asia someday. Absolutely, I've actually been to Taiwan. I was there for a weekend. It was amazing. I had never been to Asia before. It was so different, obviously America and anywhere else that I've ever been. So just the food and the culture and everything. The temples were so beautiful. I would love to go back to Asia. Someday I will make it to Japan. I don't know if that will be this year, but I would love to go. Spencer Pennington asked, what is the best way to mend a broken heart? <sighs> I wanna tell you that I've been there and that many other people have been there and it will get better. I think the worst thing you could do is stay home and wallow and stay in bed and don't talk to anybody. I think the best way to get over somebody is to go out Hang out with your friends, just be out in the public, do things, make plans for yourself. It's just a really important for you to be around people, especially people who you care about and who care about you because that's gonna remind you that there are people who love you and that there is a world beyond your broken heart. And I hope you feel better soon. Te Pariah, again, hope I'm saying that right, asked, what's something or things that have changed since you've started your VO career? A lot of things have changed. I have been doing this since I was in seventh grade. So, seen a lot, y'all. I think the biggest thing that has changed, though, has been that TV and film celebrities have discovered how fun voiceovers are. And I've seen a move from anonymous actors to celebrity actors star in everything from animated films to series to even some anime, so that's new. Also just the fact that voice actors are no longer anonymous. When I chose to focus all of my energy on voiceover, I partly did that because as a woman, I knew that I wouldn't age out of the industry. I was always worried that as an on-camera actor, I would have an expiration date because of the way I looked and I didn't really wanna deal with that. So that's why I focused so much of my efforts on VO. Now, of course, you have voice actors going to conventions and being on YouTube and being really visible with social media. So I guess my plan backfired, <laughs> but uh, that's new. Like voice actors being well-known actors that people follow and some of them even having celebrity status that that did not exist when I started. VinPad7 asked, any tips for someone interested in pursuing voice acting? My biggest tip, and this is what I tell everybody, is to do theater and have a background in theater. I would say 90% of the really uber successful voice actors I know have a background in theater and that's where they started. There's so much that you can learn as a theater actor that will help you as a voice actor. Zcook138 asked, how hyped are you for Joe Joker being in Smash, and I wanna say, been hyped! Little Red Alice asked, best advice for dealing with rejection, especially in casting, but also could be general advice. So the thing about being an actor is that I go on so, so many auditions. The majority of them, I do not get. So I guess you could say that I deal with a lot of rejection, but I also had a casting director tell me once, it's not about rejection, it's about selection. So you have to think of it as casting is not telling you that they hate you and they despise you and every choice that you made was terrible. They just went with somebody else because that's what happened. I would say just don't look at every audition that you don't get as a fail because you're just not gonna get every audition. That's not how this works. But a way to stay positive throughout the wave of auditions that you will go through as an actor is to just have a lot of confidence in yourself and just be confident in who you are. Just because this one job didn't like you and your performance doesn't mean that you're not amazing. You know, we're all unique individuals with unique talents and we all have a lot to offer the world. So just because one person doesn't choose you for something doesn't mean that any of that goes away. There are 
lot of great things about everybody and you just have to remember what they are about yourself. Also, just be nice to yourself, whether it's taking yourself out for a nice walk or taking a bubble bath or treating yourself to an ice cream or planning a fun day out with your friends. Just be kind to yourself and be nice to yourself. That's just a good way to deal with rejection because, I mean, it's worked for me. So, there you have it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for asking me all your questions. I hope you like the answers or you at least found them somewhat informative. And if you didn't, then hopefully at least you enjoyed these cats. <laughs> I will see you next week. Peace.